All right, so uh, binary trees, okay, inserting nodes into binary tree. You're going to be going through the algorithm for that. So you should basically be able to use a search technique to basically uh, to insert to apply the insertion of data into a binary tree. So if you remember, one of the reasons for using a binary tree is to keep the data in the tree in a sorted order. All right. So if I wanted to add some data to my binary tree, I'm going back to my Street Fighter tree. Okay. I want to add guile into it. So if I'm going to, I'm going to kick off by comparing guile to my root node, G is smaller than M, so I'm going to follow the left pointer. G is larger than D, so I follow the right pointer. G is larger than E, so again, I follow the right pointer. Uh, G is larger than F, so and I'm now at the end of my tree. So I basically need to create a new pointer to the right, and then that is going to point out my new node. Similarly, if I wanted to insert birdie, all right, B is smaller than M, so I know I need to go left, B is smaller than D, so I'm going to go left, BI is smaller than BL, so I'm going to go left, but BI is larger than BA, so I now need to insert a new right pointer, and that's going to be storing my new node again. All right, so you can see I'm using a binary search technique to find out where my data needs to go. Now, uh, that, that pattern there, you can see, all right, similar to the binary search, but when we get to step four, okay, so we get to step five, basically, we're going to repeat steps two and three until we get to a leaf node, and then we can insert a pointer to that new node that we want to stick in, all right? So there are two parts to this algorithm. The first part is I need to have an insert method, but what this is going to do is just check to see if the tree actually is empty, because if the tree is empty, then I need to create a new root node, all right, which is going to hold that data item. If the root node is not null, because there is data in the tree, then I, I can actually start kicking off my recur my uh, call to the recursive method, where I want to pass it the root node, and I'm going to pass it a new node, which is uh, with the data that I want to store. And then we're going to traverse the tree to find where that data is going to go. So it's going to use something similar to um, the binary search technique, where if the new node data is smaller than the current node, then uh, and if the current node is null, then we can basically uh, set the pointer of that uh, left node, the left pointer of the current node, to the new node. Otherwise, we need to have a recursive call to go left again, and we can keep um, uh, to follow that left pointer to see if that we can now insert the new node there or whether we need to do some more traversal of the tree. Uh, the code for large items going to the right is obviously going to be very, very similar because if the current dot right is null, then current dot right is going to be a new node. Otherwise, we can inst we need to do another recursive call uh, on the right hand branch um, to try and traverse that branch now to figure out where our new node is going to go. So it's quite straightforward, um, basically. All right. So I've just remembered I had a box around it to show you that that needs to be repeated for the right hand side. Um, to traverse that right branch and to determine whether the, the node can be inserted on the right or not. And that's it. You should be able to use that kind of binary search techniques and like implement the insertion of data into a binary tree.